John P. Marquand's short story, So Little Time, follows the protagonist, George Withers, a wealthy, middle-aged businessman on a quest to find meaning in his life. Set in the early 20th century, the story explores themes of social class, isolation, and the search for purpose in a rapidly changing world. Marquand's masterful use of language and imagery creates a vivid portrayal of George's inner turmoil. The story begins with George sitting in his luxurious office, surrounded by all the trappings of wealth and success. Despite his success, however, he feels empty and unfulfilled, sensing that something important is missing from his life. Marquand uses vivid language to describe the emptiness that George feels, writing that his life had become an empty shell, a brittle cocoon spun from the money he had made. Throughout the story, Marquand juxtaposes George's wealth and status with his deep sense of loneliness and isolation. Despite his many business associates and social connections, George feels completely alone in the world, cut off from any meaningful human connection. This sense of isolation is further emphasized by the descriptions of his opulent but sterile surroundings, such as the brightly polished walls of his office, which seem to close in around him, confining him in a prison of his own making. In his quest to find meaning, George turns to a young woman named Violet, whom he encounters by chance on the street. Violet is a working-class girl who, unlike George, is struggling to make ends meet. Despite their vastly different social backgrounds, George is drawn to Violet's energy and vitality, seeing in her a kind of authenticity that he feels is lacking in his own life. This connection with Violet provides George with a brief moment of happiness, and he even contemplates leaving his privileged life behind to be with her. However, this moment of clarity is short-lived, and George ultimately realizes that he cannot escape his own sense of emptiness. In the end, he returns to his wealthy, insulated existence, knowing that he will never be able to bridge the gap between himself and the rest of the world. Marquand's use of symbolism throughout the story is particularly effective in highlighting George's inner turmoil. For example, the image of the butterfly, which is mentioned several times in the story, serves as a metaphor for George's own sense of fragility and vulnerability. Like a butterfly trapped in a cocoon, George feels trapped in his own life, unable to break free from the constraints of his wealth and status. Similarly, the contrast between George's opulent surroundings and Violet's cramped, run-down apartment highlights the stark divide between the haves and the have-nots in early 20th century America. George's wealth while allowing him to live a life of luxury, ultimately serves as a barrier between himself and the rest of the world, preventing him from truly connecting with the people around him. In conclusion, John P. Marquand's So Little Time is a powerful exploration of the human condition and the search for meaning in an increasingly fragmented world. Through his masterful use of language and symbolism, Marquand paints a vivid portrait of a man struggling to find his place in the world, and the many obstacles that stand in his way. Ultimately, the story serves as a cautionary tale about the dangers of isolation and the importance of human connection in an increasingly impersonal world.